My cooking show is back. Hell yeah. Okay, you guys, I just went to Trader Joe's Saturday night. It is, it is 7th or 9th on Saturday night. It's a Trader Joe's vibe. You guys know Whole Foods on Friday, Trader Joe's and cooking show on Saturday. That's the vibe, period. That's my vibe. So let me give you guys a haul. First, let's start off with like the random items that I got at Trader Joe's. So I just can't pass up Trader Joe's protein bar prices. Like I already have my protein bars for the week, but they were just like so much cheaper at Trader Joe's than at Whole Foods. So I got some and these go macro ones. These are like my favorite ones ever, but they, I never buy them because Whole Foods, it's literally like, these are like $3.49 or like $3.99 at Whole Foods each. And I refuse to pay that. They were like $2.49 at Trader Joe's, I think. So I got three of these. So I'm so excited to have these because I haven't had these in so long because um, I'm not paying for them at Whole Foods. But, and then I got these two Bear Bells ones, which are like $1.99 each. So I think I tried these like a year ago, but I forget. So I got these two. So I just stocked a bunch of protein bars because I had to. And then I got a big old salmon from meal prep this week. So you guys will see this in my like meal prep, Sunday meal prep video. I'm going to make this with my spaghetti squash because my period is coming next week. So we got to get in those healthy fats, those omega-3s, you know what I'm saying? And this is only $10.89. Girl, this would have been like 25 bucks at Whole Foods. So she's a coupon queen. We love that. And then you guys, this just always, like, they always get me. Like the La Colombe, like milk, oat milk lattes are just so good. And I was like, you know what? Like tomorrow we're going to get crazy. Tomorrow we're going to get freaky. And I got one of these for tomorrow morning. So I'm so excited to bust this open. So that's like the random stuff they got. And then the stuff for the recipe. So today I'm making turkey sloppy joes. And let me tell you a little story. Sloppy joes are like one of my favorite foods ever. Like my mom would make them a lot when I was like a little kid. And then like, I don't know if I've ever really like said this out loud, like to you guys, but like I haven't eaten red meat since my senior year of high school. I gave up red meat. So like 2016, I stopped eating. Oh, I, actually I went completely vegan my senior year of high school and I was vegan for like seven months. I gained 15 to 20 pounds when I was vegan for like seven months. I didn't even realize how much weight I was gaining. I got acne all over my forehead. It was like, like I like, it was like terrible. So then I just went back to being vegetarian and I was vegetarian probably like 2017 to 20. 22 honestly and I started eating meat again probably about a year ago I started eating like chicken fish and turkey again and um yeah so that's like a little backstory and I never really like talked about that I guess but I haven't eaten red meat since my senior year of high school so like burgers like steak nothing like that um and I love sloppy joes and I in my head I always was like oh damn like I'm never gonna have a sloppy joe again because obviously I knew that, that was like beef you know and like for some reason like in my brain like yesterday or today like it clicked and I was like wait I can make a sloppy joe with like turkey or like ground turkey or like ground chicken and I was like holy shit I could live out my sloppy joe dream so I'm making a turkey sloppy joes and I'm gonna do like a homemade like um sauce recipe and it's I'm not following a recipe from anywhere online there's no link to the, this is my recipe I I do all my own recipes because I hate when people tell me what to do I hate doing what other people tell me to do so I'm going to do my own thing and I don't care if it tastes like shit I'd rather it taste like shit than me follow someone else's recipe but it's not gonna taste like shit because I'm making it with love and love is the number one ingredient so we're making turkey sloppy joes which I am so excited I'm actually starving right now and a sloppy joe literally like sounds I haven't had one in years you guys like I'm so excited anyways okay so obviously got some ground turkey I got these brioche buns I was deciding between like a regular hamburger bun or like the Hawaiian rolls but then I ended up deciding on these these are just like big and thick and juicy which is like my vibe you know what I'm saying so got those and then for the sauce I got well, you literally need like a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So I had to get a whole Dijon mustard because I didn't have any mustard, but I love mustard actually. Like mustard is like, I love condiments. Like there is not a condiment that I don't like. I love condiments. So I love mustard. So I know I will end up using this. I actually had this random, this weird ass. I don't even want to be sure. <laughs> I had this weird ass sandwich that I used to make like literally a year ago. It was two pieces of Ezekiel bread. Like mustard and then it was like the the whole grain mustard sriracha sauerkraut pickles spinach onions i think that's it i called it a pickle sandwich it was a pickle sandwich and i would eat it every single day isn't that psychotic isn't that so i've never heard anyone making a pickle sandwich before but i did it and i probably now that was back when i didn't eat meat but probably now i would add like turkey slices it honestly sounds really good but i am not buying all those ingredients that was back when I lived at home that was a long time ago but anyways oh my god I should trademark that pickle sandwich though like for real like that shit was busted I've never seen 
anyone make a pickle sandwich before and that shit was busted, so I need to trademark that. So if you heard that me say that, don't copy it. Anyways, then I got this sriracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce. And I think this would be really delicious and really tasty in the recipe, but like it might, you know, you know, it might do a little something to my stomach. So we're gonna just watch out for that. We're gonna use it sparingly. Okay, so we have that too. And then I got a red pepper and some, I'm just like in my mushroom era. Like why does every recipe of mine like include mushrooms like lately? Like I don't know why, but I have mushrooms and red peppers just like mix in with the meat and like you're supposed to get like onion and stuff too but like I can't I, like onion and oh and tomato you're supposed to like get tomato paste or tomato like sauce or whatever like crushed tomatoes I can't do tomato and onion no that's an absolute not entering my stomach okay so I just got these mushrooms and red pepper holy shit holy shit okay that's all that's the haul. Okay, okay. Now we have to start the recipe. Okay, let's get into recipe mode. And I love when recipes don't need the oven. I hate the oven. The oven is actually so inconvenient. Like, please tell me why. It's 2023 and the oven still takes 20 minutes to heat up. Why do ovens still take so long to heat up when it's 2023? My straightener heats up in about 30 seconds. And you're telling me this oven that costs $1,000, like, can't heat up for 30 minutes. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely, I just find it so absolutely ridiculous and I hate using the oven. So we're gonna, we're gonna, let's just start the recipe. God, like, oh my God. I honestly give a, I have a headache from my own self. I think I need a break. I have a headache from my own self talking. Okay. I need to like do a little meditation. Okay. okay, what's step one? Step one, I need to cut up the, the pe pepper and cut up the mushrooms and get those going in the pan because the turkey cooks really fast. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the mushrooms, I'm gonna cut up the pepper, get that going in the pan, and then we're gonna add the turkey. Okay, there, I'm, I'm back, I'm centered. Okay, I'm cutting up my little mushies right now. And you guys, I actually went into Lululemon like impulsively, like on my way to Trader Joe's. And because I was looking for biker shorts, because I really want to get biker shorts to go with my sports bras instead of the leggings. One, because like summer is coming up, obviously. And like two, because like biker shorts are just way cuter. And I like feel like way more confident in biker shorts. Like, can anyone relate? Like, I just feel like my ass is way fatter in a biker short than in like a legging. I just really want to get some biker shorts to match my sports bras instead of the leggings, but they didn't have any. They literally had like three colors. They had like light blue, light purple, and black. And it's like, girl, if you think I'm gonna be wearing a light blue or a light purple biker short, you are absolutely out of your goddamn mind. Like for real, like I would never do that to myself. Can you imagine the butt sweat? The butt sweat in those, like hell to the nose. So that was very disappointing. I was gonna buy something, I had a gift card, but you know, whatever, like life goes on. And then I also went into Barnes and Noble because I also had a gift card to Barnes and Noble. And I found two books that I would like, like, I was like ready to buy them. But then I was like, you know what? Like I'm still reading my book right now. Like I still have like two more weeks on that book that Carrie Soto was back. And I also didn't want to like have to move them because they were like hardcover, like big books. And I was like, you know what? Like I'm moving next week. I don't need these books right this second. Like. Then I'm gonna have to move them. Like that's such a hassle. So I just didn't buy them, but I'm probably gonna go back in a couple weeks when I finish Carrie Soto's back and get them. I took pictures of them. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys what they are. Tell me if you've ever read them before because I haven't heard anyone. I did hear Brooke Michio talk about this one, but I haven't heard anyone talk about them like a lot really. One is called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow or whatever. And that one looked really good. And then The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre. You can't see shit. The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre. I've never heard anyone talk about that ever. So let me know if you guys have read it or like heard anything about it because those are the books that I think I'm gonna get next for my book era. That was honestly like me randomly going into the Lululemon and the Barnes and Noble. Like that was the most impulsive thing I've done in months. Like that was the craziest thing I've done in months. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. So. That was super fun. That was my Saturday night. <sighs> but it's like a lot of mushrooms. Like why am I, why? first of all, I just need to know why mushrooms come in such a gigantic package. Like there's no small package. Like who needs this much mushrooms? I just wish they were sold in smaller packages. Anyways, I'm going to put this in the pan and then I'm going to cut up the red pepper. Okay, so I diced this up really small and I'm only going to use half the red pepper. I'm going to save the rest for like my snack plates this week, but I'm going to put this in the pan with the mushrooms. There it is sizzling up on the stove. I'm just gonna let it like, you know, cook down or whatever until it like, gets like, you know, all wilted and stuff. And then I'm gonna add in the ground turkey. 
Okay, now I'm adding the ground turkey. Oh my God, okay. Let me show you, I'll show you. Look at that. Okay, let's mix it up or whatever it's called. Okay, so all the sauces I'm gonna be adding, I think I'm gonna do, again, I'm not following the recipe, okay? I think I'm gonna do like half of it, ketchup, half of it, the uh, barbecue sauce, and then like a little bit of the mustard, and then a little bit of soy sauce. I read in one recipe that they use soy sauce, so I'm just gonna mix these all together, use some salt and pepper, and they usually recommend like a, like a, like a spice powder, but this has sriracha in it, so I think we're good on the spice. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Just gonna, this feels really weird to do. Just squirt some ketchup on there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm taking the barbecue sauce. And again, just, you know, let's see what it smells like. Oh, oh, that smells spicy, but that smells real good. Okay. Drizzle a little, oh boy. Okay, yeah, drizzle a little bit of that. I'm scared. Okay, we can always add, you can always add more. You can never take it off. You know what I mean? So always start off with less. Oh, wow, I'm a chef. Okay, and I'm just gonna drizzle some soy sauce. I have no idea what the, like, I don't, like, okay, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, and then this mustard, I'm gonna need, like, a little, like, spoon. Like, oh, just use the knife, okay? I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Dijon mustard, like, that much. I don't know, I kind of like mustard. Maybe just, like, a little bit more. I love mustard. Okay, okay, there's the sauce. Now we're just, you know, mixing it all together. Getting, I think I'm gonna need more sauce. Like I'm gonna have to add like probably double of what I just did because it's like barely even showing up, but we'll see, we'll see, okay. Okay, it looks like it's all cooked up. I think I'm gonna add like double of the sauce that I just added. Um, and then we're gonna be all done. That was so easy, so quick. And this is actually low-key healthy, minus like the sauces, like it's really healthy, okay. You guys like shut up. That literally looks so good. Okay, I think it's done. Let's put it on the bun. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, here are my little buns. I did like scoop some of the bread out of them because girl, these were 100 and cal 180 calories each. And like I'm having two of them and like I was not about to eat all that bread. So I just scooped the middles out. But then that leaves more room for the main part of the thing, which is the sloppy joe. You guys, this looks and smells incredible. I am so Oh my God, I'm so excited. You guys, shut up. Like, literally shut up. Like, literally shut up. This looks amazing. And it's, like, so healthy, you guys. And I put veggies in it. Oh, such a slay. Like, honestly, such a slay by me. Such an absolute slay. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, look at these. Ah! Okay, it's time to try them. It's time to try them. Oh my God. See, the bun actually worked out. See how it's not even as sloppy? Because it can go in the bun. I'm actually a genius. I'm actually Albert Einstein. Anyways. I haven't had one of these in so long. This better be good. Oh my God. And I feel like it needs more, honestly. Like, I feel like it needs more stuff. Like, I have some left over. It's like, what else am I gonna do with this? I feel like it needs more. I like squish it down, you know? <laughs> oh my God, the bun is falling apart. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Are you guys? It's so good. Amazing. Incredible. You all need to make this. You all need to make this. You can't even taste like the vegetables in it. So like, if you have like a boyfriend or something like doesn't eat vegetables, like he wouldn't even be able to tell there's vegetables in this. Absolute fire. This is the best recipe I've made so far on this cooking show. This is amazing. I'm actually gonna cry. Like I'm so proud of myself. This is amazing. 10 out of 10. You need to make this. It's my recipe. Don't forget this is my recipe. I did not copy this recipe off anyone else. No Pinterest, no recipe website. No, me. I made this up, so period. And you guys, this is like the most successful cooking show episode yet. Like this is amazing. Like this is better than the lettuce wraps. And I thought, I mean, they were amazing, don't get me wrong, but like this is way better than the lettuce wraps. I love Sloppy Joe's. This is so good. Obsessed, okay. Gotta go, love you so much. I'm gonna go eat these and literally have the best day of my life. Adios, bye. <laughs>